Hello and welcome back to Commando's Perspective. In this video, we will be talking about some stupid strategic mistakes generals made that led to a losing battle. Well, military history is full of examples of commanders making critical errors that resulted in disastrous outcomes for their armies, but in this video, we will be discussing some of the most notorious examples. Let's start. Napoleon's invasion of Russia one of the most famous military disasters in history. In 1812, Napoleon led an army of half a million soldiers into Russia, hoping to capture Moscow and end the war. However, the Russian army used a scorched earth strategy, burning everything in their pass and depriving the French army of supplies. And everyone knows the Russian winter is one of the hardest winter in the world. So as winter set in, the French army was ill-equipped for the harsh conditions and began to suffer starvation and diseases. In the end, Napoleon was forced to retreat and his army was decimated, with only 10% of his troops returning home alive. Disaster! Napoleon's failure to prepare his army for the Russian winter and his underestimation of Russian tactics were crucial mistakes that led to his downfall. Now, let's move to another general's mistake that led to a losing battle. The Battle of Gallipoli, which took place during World War I under the leadership of General Ian Hamilton. The military campaign that was made of British and French, led by Hamilton, tried to open up a supply route to Russia by launching a naval and ground assault on the Gallipoli Peninsula in Turkey. The troops faced fierce resistance from the Ottoman army. The Allied forces were unable to gain a foothold on the peninsula and after 8 months of fighting, they were forced to withdraw with over 100,000 casualties. Well, in my own opinion, as I said before, the primary mistake made by the Allied forces was the lack of coordination and inadequate intelligence gathering. Moving on to a third stupid mistake made by generals. The Battle of the Little Bygone, which took place in 1876 during the Indian Wars under the leadership of General George Armstrong Custer. Again, in my opinion, this is a classic example of a poor strategic decision. General George Custer led a group of over 600 soldiers into battle against a coalition of Native American tribes. The scouts in his army advised him not to split the forces but he ignored their advice, leaving himself and his troops outnumbered and outgunned. The result was a massacre, with Custer and all of his men killed. Custer's poor decision making and his underestimation of the enemy's capabilities were the primary reasons for his defeat. Let's go and check more recent history of mistakes made by generals. The Battle of Stalingrad, which took place during World War II, was a turning point in the war on the Eastern Front. The German army, led by General Frederick Paulus, launched an attack on the city of Stalingrad. He didn't know what was waiting for him. He was hoping to capture it and cut off Soviet supply lines. He underestimated the Soviet defenses and their troops became bogged down in street fighting. It took them a lot of time to go out of it and still they lost the fight. The Soviet army launched a counterattack encircling the German forces and cutting off their supply lines. Moving on to the last mistake that we're gonna talk about. In 1950, General MacArthur launched a bold amphibious assault at the port of Incheon. It was behind the enemy lines and it succeeded pushing back North Korean forces and they were able to recapture Seoul. However, it was an initial success. MacArthur made several strategic mistakes that would ultimately lead to a major defeat of the UN forces. One of MacArthur's key mistakes was his decision to advance deep into North Korean territory. He thought that he could push them back to the Chinese borders and the Chinese won't intervene. Well, he was mistaken. The Chinese launched a counter-offensive with hundreds of thousands of Chinese troops, leading to a major setback for the Allies. These are just a few examples of the stupid strategic mistakes generals made that led to a losing battle. As we said before, it's from our own perspective. 
Military history is full of such examples and they serve a reminder of the importance of careful planning, strategy and execution in warfare. It's easy to make mistakes, but when armies are at stake, those mistakes can be costly. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you did, like and subscribe. Stay tuned for more videos.